if you haven't heard or noticed, I got a P.O. box now for the vlog so people can send me stuff for episodes. A lot of people have been like, hey, I want to send you specific things that I know you'll probably love. There's a chance to do that now. And the on-screen address is where you can send things, no matter what it is. And if you're doing the math at home, this will be the first package at the new spot. <laughs> what a first one too. A cannoli molding kit. Cannoli mold kit with 18 tubes plus round cutter. Oh my god, of course the first thing is basically for Allie. That's so funny. I could give you cannoli money, or you could make your own. <laughs> Nick Riley. Nick, super thoughtful gift, thank you. With the cold winter months coming up, like we got bleak Novembers and Decembers most of the time in Chicago and I stay inside, I might go up to a corner pub and smash a few pints, but normally I kind of just board myself up inside and make videos, so that will be great for those months, so thank you. <gasps> oh my god! When can we make them? Well, Nick, nice job. I've never had her. I think when I gave her the engagement ring, it didn't have that much of a pop. So good for you. <laughs> Guys, a little bit later in the day, got a bunch of work done. Now it's feasting time, now it's lunch time, now it's food vlogging time. Uh, we got over that just genuine alley reaction, and now we're gonna hit up a food truck in Independence Park. Buying this one today, this one's for Mr. Steven Nair. Wheel bangs. Cheap bangs, cheap bangs, I'm Thank wasted you. by the way Thank you. What's up with you? Uh, not much. Going to Arizona soon. Excited about it. Long time watcher, first time donor. With your recent obsession of Puerto Rican food, I've got a place for you. On Irving Park near Springfield Avenue in Independence Park, there is a food truck called Snicks Snacks. Patty Wax, give Sean a, bu a bowl of bad. I go crazy cause she looks like it They have Puerto Rican food and some American food. Get whatever you want. Use the change for whatever. I use the change for the gas, uh, the wear and tear in the car, getting up here in the 20 minute drive, and then putting this video together. If you're wondering, honesty. <laughs> Love you. I just happen to be a safe passage worker in the area. They are there weekdays, except Monday, maybe weekends. Get there before the end of the month. They're only there six months out of the year. Early afternoon is a good time to get there. Peace. All right, Steven, well, it's, it's the week. It's not a Monday or the weekends, and I see the car, the cart, the truck up there. So hoping to snag some uh, Puerto Rican food. What if I got American food at this truck? If I did, cancel this channel. It's all done. It's over. Let's feast. This is my first time here, and um, I had a friend recommend it to me, and he said it's the best. I wanted to get some like authentic Puerto Rican stuff. What should I? I like pretty much everything, but what would you recommend? I really like Iberitos. Yeah, that's my should number I get, one. Should color. I get? All right, I should do one of those. Yeah. Should I do which like meat do you think's the best? Um, I like everything. I got the meal. Oh, okay. With um, fat, chicken or pork, because you get one meat. It comes with rice, and then it comes with uh, a side order of the stone from my which is uh, this is what I make the libaritos with, and this is the sweet one. Whoever recommends it, tell them I said thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What was your name? Maria. Maria, I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. My last day is um, Halloween. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. So, they said I have to get here before the end yeah, of the month, so that makes sense. Yeah. He knows. I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna disappear from here. <laughs> yeah, little break, you six earned it. Months, I'm like, oh, six months straight, huh? Six months, it wow. was good, but you know what? It, it's just funny. Absolutely. I need my oh my gosh. If I see you again, it's just like this. Very excited. <laughs> Puerto Rican food's become my like favorite oh. like cuisine <laughs> since I moved to Chicago, and I'm very excited about it. Thanks, Maria. Okay, oh, yeah, I, you'll probably see me back. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Maria. Thank you. 
All right, Steven, you weren't kidding. End of October, she's done. So if I like this, I'm gonna have to get back. She's been going every day six months. It's insane, so thanks for the recommendation. She's also the nicest human. I just love this culture of food and people and just doing this job. It's the best. I had to clear out the back seat because I drove a couple friends to a Chicago-based wedding and I didn't want to just have this in the back seat like a psychopath. <laughs> like, they know what I do, but seeing it's a little alarming. <laughs> Over exaggeratory. Guys, hello, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to another Puerto Rican food mukbang, mugbangy, what? I'm in paradise. Now we had Mexi Tacos, food truck episode, and today, Snicks Snacks, which is just a great name. Chicago, ah, uh, no shortage of epic Puerto Rican food. But it's all about this thing. We got the mini Iberito, which is amazing. I've never had a mini Iberito. We'll get into what it is. It's fried plantain instead of bread. Some people do gender reveal parties and ruin the ecosystem of our world. Some people just open styrofoam, which is actually kind of ruining a lot of things too. But sometimes we just reveal food and bam. Okay. So what do we got? We got two shish kebabs. We got a chicken and we got a pork. And then we got the Puerto Rican rice, which has become some of my favorite rice in the the game. We got a little bread here on the side. Then we got some platanos maduros, which is sweet plantains. Combo platter, if you will. Comes with a sauce of some kind. You know I'm a saucy boy. We'll get into that. And then a little mini Iberito. Oh my god, it's adorable. Did she do steak, I think? Those types of menus, you don't order. You ask them what to order, and then you have them make everything for you, and you just pay whatever it costs. This is a Iberito with the fried plantains instead of bread or tortilla, any of that stuff. Look at that monstrosity. I mean, it's tiny, but it's still like a little, it's like a little baby monstrosity. This whole platter of food, the combination platter plus the add-on Iberito, $17. If you want no Iberito and just the combination platter with the two different skewers, 12 bucks. Don't know if you can tell, but I'm in a very good place mentally right now. <laughs> I'm gonna start this with the chicken skewer, the shish kebab, and get after it. Let's have some fun. It remi- wow. <laughs> it's stupidly tender. The best way I can describe this is it almost tastes like Brazilian steakhouse prepared chicken. Like, it's crispy and seasoned and so moist on the inside. That is to die for. Oh my God. Did you see the quick shot of the American food? Hot dog, Polish, corn dog, chicken nuggets, mozzarella sticks. <laughs> Can you imagine if I would have gotten any of that? It's good they sell it. Some people are basic and some people are children. And some people are basic children. I am an advanced adult. You're basic. Let's try the pork shish kebab now. Look at that skewer. Skewer? I hardly knew her. Also, dumb. <laughs> oh my God. Tender, seasoned, perfect. With an O and an I. Now a sweet plantain, which I haven't really had much of. A Little bit of that arroz con duales, which I don't know how to pronounce correctly. Puerto Rican rice. Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? That thing, <laughs> that thing just rolled out a sleeping bag in my heart and is, is staying the night. It wants to be read a ghost story, and it wants to be scared, but also comforted by you. Oh my God. Iberito, I think that's steak. Oh shit. Don't get me wrong, I love a, a big Iberito, but a little slidery burrito. It feels like I'm at the, like, the old school when I was in high school and I would get the McDonald's dollar menu, and there's just something about it. That's what I'm getting right now, but with this. Mmm. This is just such a better way to eat. Ooh, it smells like kind of like a, maybe a house-made barbecue sauce. Let's try it on this. I'm sure it's for the rice. Let's try it on the Iberito. Mmm. Oh, wow. I don't really know what it is, but to me it's kind of like a, like a steak sauce, a ketchup, and a barbecue sauce all had a three-way and accidentally somehow made a kid with all three people's DNA. <laughs> Gross. But accurate. <laughs> Sometimes things are gross, but accurate. I basically want to get to a point in this vlog where I'm only eating out of food trucks. 
that's gone. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the meat off the skewer and I'm gonna put it on the rice. I'm gonna mix up the rice a little bit with the meat. Do a little drizzle dizzle of the sauce on the rice and meat. That's right, a drizzle dizzle. Like if Snoop Dogg was putting <laughs> ketchup on his fries. Look at how gorgeous it looks. We almost got like a little Puerto Rican Chipotle bowl. Because <laughs> apparently whenever I eat, I have to whiteify everything. Could this guy be whiter? Just no. Come on! Oh my god, that rice! They made it all fresh. She made it all fresh. And by she, I mean just Maria. She was the only one in there. Taking the orders, cooking everything in the moment, putting it all in here. Best attitude in the world. Even says she's a little tired from doing it for six months. Still the nicest smile and the nicest human. I couldn't be more blown away by the whole thing. Adorable experience. She also, unlike so many people in food trucks, was supposed to open at 11.30. I was kind of hanging out by the truck at 11.15 just to kind of scope it out, because I didn't really, I don't go to that park often. So just kind of like seeing the truck, what they have, so I was kind of like ready to order. And she was like, oh, look at that. I'm open a little early today. And just took my order 15 minutes early. That's just quality, like no one can refute the fact that that's just quality and that's hard work and that's badassery. This rice is so sticky and moist. The seasonings on it, with that sauce mixing in, and then having the like chicken, like this chicken bite, that's ridiculous. I don't know what else I can say. It's just, it's perfect. I could eat just like a painting sized bucket, like when you see people use those big buckets. <laughs> I can eat a bucket of this rice by itself. I'm feeling a lot of things right now. Real quick before I start sobbing in front of the camera out of happiness, let's do some super thanks thanksing. Miss Darcy Deming, once again, likes editing Bayshawn. And Scott Mitchell, the person who we made the video for last time, donated again on the video that he already donated for, and super thanks. You guys, thank you. You click the thanks button and help the show, so I can keep doing this, I thanks to you. Rick, stop pointing at me, a freak. Pork and rice. I'm so happy right now. I should be one of those like food YouTubers that's like, I ate it, only food trucks for 365 days of the year. But I have to start doing TikTok though. Ugh. What's up? Sean, I only ate at vending machines at closed YMCA's. Here's what happened. You look at the numbers, 190,000 likes. <laughs> uh, I do this because I love it. Though don't think I don't think that's so funny though. That that's where we're at now with food content. Just got went to Home Depot with a bunch of honeycomb cereal, poured it into one of the toilets, milk, and ate it. Look at the numbers, 1.6 million comments. <laughs> Whatever, I get it, my stuff's silly too. White guy eats Puerto Rican food in a way too long of a video. Look at it. 1,100 views. <laughs> Whatever, this is my actual life though. This is what I would do anyways. I don't have a goddamn good time. This allows me to have fun by myself, you know? I used to be so bad at that. Like I wouldn't even eat a meal alone. Cause I like didn't have the confidence to sit in a restaurant while I'm sitting in my car. But you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't even do, this has like helped me just love being alone. This guy's depressing. <laughs> I cannot wait to take the rest of this home and absolutely smash it. I mean, my God. The service, the ambiance, the price, the food, the, the mouth feel, the way I feel now. The food was so good, it makes me want to be a better person. That's how good that was. Like, it makes me want to go sign up for community service. Like, I'm not worthy to have a life this good. I did spill a bunch on my jeans, though. My new jeans. So, you know, some pros and cons. <laughs> Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you for watching this vlog every day, for making it a part of your life whenever I do upload. Hey Marty, uh, you wanna cut down on using that concrete saw real quick? I'm trying to close out a video. Marty's not a fan of the vlog. <laughs> oh, Marty. I also haven't seen the big water guy in my apartment. I don't know if he... Marty! 
You know how they play you off when you're doing like an Oscars acceptance speech and you're you're going too long like this That's basically the Chicago equivalent of them trying to play you off All right, so um, okay. Also, thank you to my my, my fiance Ali and my mom I can't forget God also the guy down in the lobby that gave me the really big waters That was really nice of you and uh, thank you to Fox Universal Well, I love you guys <laughs> Snick Snacks, Puerto Rican food truck food up. Snick Snacks, Puerto Rican food truck food down.